right there. See? Literally, I, I seeded that out yeah, two days ago. Fast. Fast, fast. Making the growing season grow longer. That's the idea, anyway, for Daphne Yanakakis, an organic farmer in western Colorado. Along with husband Don LaRoe, they're growing vegetables in wintertime as part of a study by Colorado State University. The vegetables grow under the protection of unheated greenhouses called high tunnels, which hold in heat stored by the earth at night and capture solar heat during the day. They also provide protection from the wind. These farmers plant a variety of cold hardy vegetables at monthly intervals and record weather data collected electronically into custom software. This is the green. Here are the two events where we got down to uh, minus 10. The data is collected from five farms across Colorado and will be compiled and made available to other small-scale farmers. Funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the program is called, and here's a mouthful, the Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, or SARE. The study is intended to help small-scale farmers in the Rocky Mountains remain productive and profitable through much of the winter by utilizing high tunnels. Even when outside temperatures reach sub-zero extremes, these simple structures allow vegetables to survive harsh winter conditions and enable farmers to grow more. And high tunnels are cold frames. They're very low-tech greenhouses without any supplemental heating or, or cooling in them. And they allow growers to extend their, their growing season at least a month on each end of the frost-free period. For the winter growing, it allows you to sort of have a continuous flow of income, which is, you know, not a typical thing on a farm, at least not in the, you know, northern climates. It really helps and uh, gets us to market with the greatest diversity and sets us apart from other growers. Frank Stoniker of Colorado State is in charge of the winter growing study. By enabling profitable small-scale organic agriculture, He's hoping to help reverse an alarming trend in American farming. We have less than a percent of our population now that's directly involved in food production. That's, that's really, really susceptible to collapse. Stoniker believes there is a crucial need for more young farmers in agriculture, especially those producing food locally on a smaller scale. A big part of Sustainability is community sustainability and food security in the community. And the more local food that's produced and the more people that are consuming locally produced foods, the better. Organic agriculture represents a fast growing portion of the fruit and vegetable market. Small scale growers cite the need for additional research dollars to fund more studies such as this. So you'd think you'd be funding the things that seem to be growing, the things that offer some promise, but that money is not being given to those sorts of projects. It's being given to big agribusiness corporations and biotechnology and that sort of thing. With limited resources, these farmers continue to learn and pass on their knowledge as fast as nature will allow. For Simon Earth, I'm Bruce Burkhart.